Hi all, today I am here to discuss about budget management in Odo 14 accounting. Managing budget is an essential part of a business. So budget help people become more intentional with the way money is spent and direct people to organize and prioritize their work to meet financial goals. So it allows to plan, decide financial outcome and then measure your actual performance against the plan. So using uh, general and analytical accounts, budgets can be managed in Odo. So let's go directly to our Odo database and see how budget is managed. So here we have our accounting application, just open it and let's go to configuration settings. Because first we have to enable uh, budget management in settings, configuration settings. So when you search for budget management, you can find that option, which is uh, that use budgets to compare actual with expected revenues and costs. And one thing you have to enable is analytical account because while creating budgets, we may use analytical accounts. We may have to add analytical accounts. So for that, we have to enable this option and accounting. Okay, and if you want tags, you can also add that. So after enabling that, save the settings and you can find an, a menu under accounting that is for budgets under management. You can find budgets that is to create budgets. So when you click on this, you can see all the created budgets in different status from uh, in a particular period. So by clicking create button, you can create a new budget. So let me give name for this budget, new project. Suppose I'm creating a project and it contains income and expenses and I have to plan a revenue and make sure that it denote, that is I don't want to spend more than a particular amount. And here you can, I can add an ex responsible person for this budget and period of the budget. Okay, suppose I'm creating a budget from number 19 to 2021, number 19. Okay, then I can uh, add a company here. Then this is the main part where we can add budget lines. Budget lines contain some fields like budgetary positions, analytical account, start date and end date is automatically added because we have already said that. Then here you can see the planned amount of the budgetary budget lines inside our budget, then practical amount, then theoretical amount and achievement in percentage can be viewed. So here we can add budgetary position. Budgetary position means it's a list of accounts for which you want to keep budgets. So it contains expense accounts and income accounts needed in our money for a company in a business or a project. And account, uh, we need to get budget information. So it's a kind of restriction on which we can, uh, what can be recorded in the practical amount. And it must at least contain one account from general ledger, that is from chart of accounts, at least one account need to be added. So uh, by default, some budget positions are already installed in your chart of accounts. And from here, you can create new budgetary position like You have to create an edit. You can see the budgetary position here, and here we can add accounts. So, as it is a income uh, line revenue, I'm adding an income account here. So you can add multiple lines here. 
and here you can add an analytical account if you want to manage analytical account for your budget lines then okay then again you can add another line so so here you can see a cost so this budget position i created before i will show you uh, one minute i just say this okay here under configuration you can see budget positions under management so if you open this you can see some budget positions so this was just created and you can see cost that i was create i just created before and it is a budget position in order to add some expense account that is to mark cost so here you can see purchase expense in computer and laptop accessories expense i have added okay in the same way you can create new budget positions if we come back to our budgets so this is our budget okay so we have added uh, budget lines so here you can see some uh, practical amount minus 700 for this budget position cost now this is because uh, because of some vendor bills created before okay and i can add some planned amount for this budget budget line for some adding 2000 then for this i'm adding 1000 and here if i need to add an nlt account i can add that too okay, then i'm saving this and confirming it so when you confirm you can see theoretical amount is shown this amount for today so you can see 5.46 for project revenue and 2.73 for this cost okay now the practical amount is reset to reset to zero and from here you can approve it and you can click done okay now let's go to customer invoice and create a new invoice so i'm going to create a new invoice I'm adding product here so here i can change i have to change the income account as i have given uh, some lines inside account inside the budget so i'm adding that account here okay it's lock in sales and here you can see the price 320 now i'm confirming the invoice so after confirming the invoice let's come back to our budgets And open our budgets. You can see the status is done. Okay, inside this budget, you can see the plan amount was two thousand and the practical amount it is three twenty, and you can see the change in color. And when you click on this entries, you can see the entry here. The debit credit uh, can be viewed whether whether it is a debit or credit. You can see it is a credit, and you can see the amount is negative three twenty. Ah, uh, for the customer, you can see that. And when you unfold this. in detail you can see that entry general entry okay now now uh, in the for the cost the practical amount is not changed but the for the project revenue you can see this 320 now let's create a vendor bill okay let's add the vendor So here I'm selecting the Intel account. I'm choosing the account. Here you can see the account was set inside the cost of budget position, and here I can change the price. So I'm changing to four hundred, okay, four hundred, and then I'm confirming this bill. then when you come back to the budgets here you can see the practical amount is minus 400 so as we have uh, created a vendor bill so we have an expense 
and you can see the achievement is negative. And here, when you click on the entry, you can see the entry for that customizable desk with an account amount minus 400. So the entical items can be viewed as we have attached an entical account with this budget line. So this is how we create uh, budgets. And now let me show one thing under reporting that is we have budgets analysis. So when you click on this, you can see all the budgets. So this is uh, grouped according to the budgets. Uh, and you can see the budgetary position. So when you click on this, you can see all the budgets inside this with entitled accounts. Here we have our budget new project with the budgetary positions. You can see that. And you can see the plant amount, practical amount. So in this way, uh, by looking at this, we can compare. That is, we can evaluate the performance and compare the plant amount and ex that is expected amount and spent amount. So budget can be created at any time and we can analyze uh, by looking at the reporting, we can make analysis on our budgets. So that's all about uh, budget management in order 14. So if you have any doubts regarding this topic or related topics, you can add your, just add your comments below. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odoatsyprocess.com.